All right, and now we're gonna go over beating cover three. And again, as I said in the last video, cover two, AKA two deep blues. Cover three, AKA three deep blues. Cover four, AKA four deep blues. So again, cover three is the most balanced of them all. Uh, so uh, we're not necessarily, uh, there's not a huge weakness short and there's not a huge weakness deep. Like whereas in cover two, there's a huge weakness deep. And in cover four, there's a huge weakness short because again, there's so many deep blues in cover four. But so again, cover three is more balanced. But uh, this might be the best advice of the ebook, or you know, I think this right here is worth uh, the price of the course itself. Is first cover three, attack the silence, attack the silence, flood the flood the silence, make them feel like they have to have a uh, double maple out there. And uh, we'll get the double maple later in the later in this course. But basically, double maple is uh, two flats on defenders on each side at different depths. But uh, so again, let's take a look at this defense here. Again, pretty balanced throughout. But again, realize how there's only one sideline defender here. Only one. Only one sideline defender on each side. So again, like we talked about versus cover two, how we were utilizing that two v one matchup, and again, this is just this is just basic math. Again, we see cover three, we take advantage of this sideline, we take advantage of this single sideline defender, and how we're we gonna do that? We're gonna incorporate from what we learned earlier in the course. Again, uh, this is just a random play out of a non-meta formation. You know, I just I just came on gun tray open. You know, it's not any special formation. I'm just this is to show you guys that. Uh, you know these concepts can be applied uh, to any formation to any scheme really and again it's really the concept understanding why something works not just throwing a random money play at you so again let me reset the play and this is how it looked like at the start so again remember what we talked about earlier utilizing these pull routes so uh, we're gonna utilize a pull route here you know to pull back that deep zone and then uh, to flood that side that single sideline defender uh, we need two people, two receivers on the sideline running routes at different depths. So again, we're going to force that sideline defender to make a decision. Just like how we did in the cover two video where uh, we sent someone deep down the left sideline and someone deep down the middle on a streak. And the, the single defender had to choose because again, it's a 2v1. Again, this is just basic math. Nothing special here. So again, we got that pull route to pull the deeps on deep and then we got the and then we have the um, two receivers running to to the sidelines at different depths. So again, that silent defender he has to make a choice. You know, he, he can't guard both at the same time. So again, as we saw here, we had the purple zone, and you know, it stood it stayed with the corner out here. So we're just gonna hit this flat underneath. And I'll say another huge piece of advice, man: take your damn flat routes. Take them every single time. If they're there, please take them. Take your flats, take your flats, take your flats. Reason being is, you know, if, if you get too impatient or if you're not staying patient with your reads, uh, you're getting greedy, that leads to more sacks. Um, you know, it leads to those second and 19s uh, and then maybe even, you know, forcing mistakes after that. So, you know, take take what the defense gives you. Uh, if, you if you're able to do that consistently, that's what the best players in the world do. They're patient. They're able to take what the defense gives them consistently, knowing that the defense will get frustrated eventually, and it's going to open up the, the deep ball later in the game. So, again, stay patient on these routes, guys. But, again, back to attacking. Again, 2v1 matchup. Um, again, streak the pull, the deep blue. You know, flat corner. So, we got someone on the intermediate sideline, uh, the short sideline, and, again, this pull route. And... Again, the sideline defender just stayed with the corner out, so we throw our flat underneath. Again, let's do that one more time. Yeah, I hope this got. Hope this is making sense to you guys. Again, just simple, simple two v one matchups. And again, abuse the silence to either side, guys, until until they start putting those double flats. Again, take advantage of those silence. Another reason why it's so important to attack the silence is because. The number one thing in man is avoiding the user. And this is a great, because again, the user is going to be in the middle of the field. And usually the user is going to stay in the middle of the field. But if we're, again, it, 
so when we're attacking those silence that's going to be kind of a safe spot or a safe haven because you know the user's not going to be over there so we're just we just have to worry about the cpu defenders so again here simple flood concept you know uh the flats on defender that time he bites down on the flat because uh, he's in a hard flat and it's going to open up the corner out again basic concept here uh and that's why uh formations like you know trips tight end are so are so effective in man trips tight end and corner and gun bunch it's because they have a lot of those good corner routes uh and we'll get to this later in the course but again corner routes and crossers are going to be the routes you really want to look for because again we want to attack those silence and one of the best ways to attack the silence is those corner routes And again, man, same concept, just in trips now. Again, again, this is why trips is so good because we have, you know, the corner out PA slot corner, and we have a corner out to this side as well. So we have multiple corner outs to each side of the field that, that allows us to attack the silence of both sides of the field. Uh, whereas other formations don't really have that. So you're gonna see players kind of gravitate towards these gun trips tight end and gun bunch formations. And again, we will get to that more in depth later. Again, here, same concept. Again, we see that the flat, the, the single side flats on the fender. Uh, he stays, he stayed with the corner out. So again, we're going to stay patient and throw that flat route. Again, and we'll go into more, a lot more concepts into attacking, you know, cover three, you know, cover, you know, these type of coverages like developing routes and like the route combo development course. Uh, again, the purpose of this course is just to kind of introduce you guys into you know attacking these basic coverages and kind of the concepts behind you know the weaknesses of these defenses and kind of what how we're looking to attack it so again guys uh this is something that you can apply to your own formations again it's just a pull route a flat and a corner route